So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get into the news. <laughs> news and notes from around the league. There's so, there's so much polarizing events that took place, you know, last night. So many extreme emotions, right, between Lacey and the Hail Mary and Aaron Rodgers. That it, I mean, he, he was – He had a great fantasy day at the end of it. Yeah. Oh, and Jason and I are playing in that league where I need to win by like 37 to get the bye week from him. And I, I had Richard Rodgers in my <laughs> tight end selection list, and it just – Vance McDonald! I went with Vance McDonald, so uh, – Mm. Very happy about that. We'll see how that goes. So, yeah, we said it. Eddie, Ray, Eddie Lacy rushed five for four yards. We gave you the kind of the – we're not starting him going forward unless we have to. I mean, I, he has upside, but it's hidden with all that downside. All right, Carlos Williams missed practice again on Friday. Don't think he's going to play? No, he, I don't think he's going to play, and that's that's just more a note of a uh, bigger boost to LaShawn McCoy. Now, some news came out yesterday. We've seen this type of thing from different teams – throughout the year with different players. But Ron Rivera said he'll look for chances to spell Jonathan Stewart during the Panthers' stretch run. We know he's had about seven straight weeks with 20-plus carries. I think this will happen in blowout games. I think Tolbert will see the field in blowout games more than he is right now. How worried would you be as a Stewart owner? Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's a blowout game, then they've put points on the – on the board and Jonathan Stewart has likely done work. So I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about it. We do need to remember that the Cardinals are competing for that and, and any other team in that range, but the Cardinals, well, are the, the Cardinals, closest. the Vikings and the Packers right now, the Vikings and Packers are both at, are the, are the They're Vikings both at eight, eight wins. and four. Yeah. Well, I guess the, well, the Packers, Packers, are, Packers are, are at eight wins now and the Vikings yeah. could get to nine. Yep. So they're, they're all close. If the Panthers were to lose a game, they would be playing to maintain home field throughout the playoffs. Yep. yep. Okay, and then uh, Nick Foles is uh, going to play quarterback <laughs> again this week. In, well, in the National well, Football League, nonetheless. Can you call it that? No. <laughs> nope. No, you cannot. All right, let's go ahead and – He's going to uh, take snaps. Let's play in and out here. What's it going to be, McFly? Are you in or out? Um, All right, Jason – Big Ben, is he playing? He's playing. He's practicing in full. He's cleared. He's a go. All right, Mike. Case Keenum's the guy that benef is not playing. Correct. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say he benefits from Nick Foles being out. <laughs> we would all benefit from Nick Foles being out. <laughs> all right. Sorry, Nick. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, I don't feel that bad because he went to U of A, too. So, I mean, I'm an ASU Ooh. guy. I'm an ASU guy. So, Nick Foles, you can just don't uh. even worry about it. All right. <laughs> Jason's laughing. Uh, running back, Carlos Williams. Out. Out. Char West. In. Yep, he's practicing in full. Devonta Freeman. In. In. Ryan Matthews. Out. Out. Andre Ellington. Out. Danny Amendola at the wide receiver position. In. He's I, back. I think he's only limited right now, so you do need to monitor it, but I believe he's going to play. All right, Cardinals wide receivers, John Brown and Michael Floyd. In. Limited on Thursday, but they'll be in. They played last week and had no setbacks. Willie Sneed. Have to think he's going to play. I See, I'm not. You do? I do. I think he's maybe not going to play, but I will say this. The last time he missed this many practices and then played, he stunk. He put up yeah. a goose egg. Yeah. So, for yeah. me, <laughs> for me, Willie Sneed might be in on the lineup, but I'm afraid to yeah. play him. If, so. if he doesn't practice today, then he's out. Alan Hearns. Uh, out. I, you know, the news is, is if he gets cleared on concussion protocol and misses every second of practice, he's going to play. That's what they said. So... Just monitor it, cause I'm telling you, you until you Alan Hearns is throwing him out. Yeah, absolutely. He's All missed right. practice every single week and been great. So I'm just saying, if he's not dead, I feel like there's an inkling he could play. <laughs> and and really, he almost died. So you know, he needs Mr. Miyagi stat. Richard Matthews out, broken ribs, yuck. Nelson Aguilar, everyone's favorite Philadelphia Eagle. Uh, it sounds like he's for gonna, those deeper leagues. He's going to play again. <laughs> for those deep, deep leagues, rookie yeah. leagues. All right, yeah. tight ends. Tyler Eifert. Uh, I'm looking at his info to see if there's anything on him. Anything yet. updated? Not today. practicing Thursday. It's not uh, good. You, you better. If you're an Eifert owner, you, you're really hoping he practices today. Maybe pick up, you pick up he, Richard Rodgers. But he's he's looking. <laughs> <laughs> he's really good. Or Vance McDonald or Zach Miller or I've, some other options. At this point, you need to consider. Kyle Rudolph. You need to consider Eifert highly doubtful. Yeah, you have to have someone on your roster. Heath Miller. Uh, man, what was the last? I haven't heard the. I'll verify him as well. Heath Miller. 
because he he got knocked out of the game on Sunday. So let's let's see what we got going on for Heath Miller. He remains sidelined. So he's he's the same thing. I'm gonna go with highly doubtful. All right, Rob Gronkowski is not showing up in ESPN leagues as out. We know he's 99.9 percent out. Is that correct? Classic. Yeah, this is just Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick is never going to. I mean. He just doesn't rule people out or, or in through the week. So it's going to be annoying for Gronk owners if you've got that IR spot. He's not going to be able to use it. Although last week, they were very kind with Danny Amendola yeah. owners, and I got to move him to out on a Saturday. There was, Woo, there's been day a, early. a fair amount of transparency with Gronkowski. It's kind of like they came out and they were transparent with the injury and the fact it's week to week and that we're going to mess with you every week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're very transparent with their intentions now. Like, when you – they, like – structured it when you say week to week that means we can take it up to game time week to week and make you prepare i want for bill belichick to just talk in the third person and be like um i'm bill belichick you're not gonna know <laughs> right. next well, right saying i'm bill belichick is that really third person if he was saying it yeah you have to refer yeah to your, you're right you just say oh, bill right. belichick. you just say bill belichick doesn't do that <laughs> there yeah, you go thank you true. for the correction <laughs> I'm a master of third person. Yes. 